Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm sharing with you what I got from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. My order just arrived this morning and unfortunately not everything arrived. So there were three boxes in total and UPS lost two out of the three boxes. So I am keeping my fingers crossed that those do turn up and um, I am sharing with you the main box, which thankfully it did arrive. I'm only gonna be sharing with you the in-stock items um, because today the sale is open to absolutely everyone. So I'm going to be sharing with you what I got that's currently in stock in the first part of the video and then in the second half I'm going to be doing a quick roundup of some of my favorites that I already own and love that are also included in the sale. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. So first up are a pair of earrings and I'm kind of mixed on these because I do really like them and I think they look adorable on but one they look very different from the photo and two they're not the best quality um, so the ones in the photo have a little bit of shimmer whereas these are completely matte so they look the same as the in-studio um, photo but not the same as the kind of on location one so that is definitely something to keep in mind they are definitely on the thin side um, but they're also only $33 so I'm not sure what I was expecting, um, but they're definitely quite thin and I'm not sure that they're going to last like absolute ages, but I do still think they're really fun. So a little bit of a mixed bag, as I said, I do really like them. I think they're really cute. I'm glad I went for the pale pink, um, but they're definitely not the best quality earrings I've ever felt. Next up, and probably one of my favorite items that I got from my order is this Barefoot Dreams cardigan. So this is a new style that they released this year, I think anyway, I don't remember seeing it in previous years and it is an absolute dream. I am so excited about it. So I got mine in the cream color and it has this really pretty kind of braided detail right here on the front. You do have these pockets and I would say this is kind of an in between the shawl one that I have and the long cardigan. It's similar to the shawl, but it's not quite as bulky. So it's a little bit more streamlined, but it's still very, very cozy. It is insanely soft as you would probably expect from Barefoot Dreams. And I just love it. Like I love pretty much everything about it. On the back you have this kind of really subtle ribbing effect. And it's just the cuddliest, softest thing. I know I'm just going to be living in this when it gets a bit colder. So super, super thrilled about this. I just realized on the label, this is cozy, chic, light. So that makes sense. That's not quite as heavy as some of the other ones. So if you find the Barefoot Dreams fabric a little bit heavy, then this might be a good shout. Um, but yeah, I am over the moon about this. Next up is a biker jacket and I'm so excited about this. I was a bit nervous about sizing with this one. I'm not super familiar with this brand for kind of tops and jackets and that sort of thing, um, but this is absolutely perfect. I will pop in all my size details in the description section as well. Um, but this is just the right fit. Um, it looks nice just over a dress, but I also think I could squeeze a crew neck underneath it as well when it does get a bit colder. It is like a kind of jersey fabric material. There is some stretch to it. You can roll up the sleeves as well, which I always love. And it's just got a really nice drape. So whilst it is a biker jacket style, it is still quite streamlined. And even on the back, and this is always an area I check for like a good fit and cut, it looks very, very nice and structured and it just kind of fits in a very, very elegant way. So. I am beyond thrilled with this. This came in a few different colors. Um, I went for this kind of mushroom color, but they have a black and they have two others. And I just think it's a great buy. So I am very excited about it. I think it's just gonna be perfect over so many different dresses. And I just think it's the perfect lightweight jacket. And from two huge successes to one that's a little bit of a mixed bag. I love the dress, but I got the wrong size. So I really wanted to wear this throughout pregnancy, um, but it's way too small, like it's too small for me now. So. Sadly, I think this is going to be one post-pregnancy, but it is still really cute. So it's just this kind of um, ruched bodycon dress. I thought this would look really cute with, you know, a bump and then a biker jacket, but not meant to be, obviously. It has this nice ruching on the side here and it has this kind of wrap effect on the skirt. It is pretty thin, um, so it's not like a super, kind of thick one or structured it doesn't really suck you in um but there is some stretch there isn't a huge amount though so i got the size small um i definitely should have sized up um i think the medium would have been a much better call but i look forward to wearing this next year when it does fit me a bit better but i do think it's a really nice easy going dress very lightweight as well so i think this would be good even if you lived in really hot climate it's going to be boiling in the uk next week um so it's definitely at the top of my mind at the moment so yeah i do like it but definitely should have got a bigger size 
Next up is this dress from Good American and I am so crazy excited about this one. I've had kind of mixed experiences with this brand but I adore this. Um, I don't think that the stock is as good with this one so if they don't have your size I would definitely say it's worth trying to track down in store or otherwise wait for a restock because it is gorgeous. Um, so it has this ribbed knit effect all the way through and I'm always a little bit dubious about ribbed knit items because I feel like they can go either way in terms of you know the quality, how stretched they are, but also how flattering they are. This one does have a lot of stretch, but it still kind of compresses you in, but it's still very comfortable. I don't like a lot of tight things around my stomach at the moment, but even though this does have some compression, I still find it to be extremely comfortable. So you do have this wonderful little cutout detail on the sleeve, which I love, and then it is a midi length, but I think this would look good with both flats and heels. Really cute under a biker jacket as well, and I just think it's great. So beyond thrilled with this, um, this definitely was a little bit more on the pricey side, especially for a bodycon dress, um, but I do think it's absolutely worth it. Next up is this top from Madewell, and to be honest, I wasn't massively looking forward to this one. I've been stalking some of the items I ordered online, and this one got kind of mixed reviews, so I assumed that I wouldn't like it that much, but it's actually really, really nice. Um, it is quite see-through though, so you definitely do have to wear a nude bra or a cami underneath, but I just think it's a really lovely, easy-going summer white top. So it does have pattern on it, but because it's white, it's very subtle. You have this kind of check pattern all the way through, and the material is almost like a cheesecloth fabric, so it's very kind of light and airy and just wispy and lovely for summer like I think it's so pretty you have this kind of pleated detail on the side as well but again very very subtle because it's white on white and I just thought this was lovely really cute with skinny jeans or shorts you know nothing too fancy or anything like that Thought you could dress it up with a nice pendant and yeah, I'm just really happy with it. So perhaps it's because I'm more into my flowy things these days um, But yeah, I'm really really thrilled with this now for another one which unfortunately is out of stock and I did want to limit the number of out of stock items I featured but again if this comes back in stock because I am expecting there to be returns and restocks and that sort of thing I would definitely bookmark this page or otherwise try and track it down in store because it is gorgeous so it's this um, black lace mini dress but it just fits really really nicely so there is a lot of lace detail so if you're not a fan of lace you definitely won't like this because it's lace on lace on lace but I happen to love lace and I think it's so stunning the fit is really nice and you have this kind of multi-tier skirt effect so it actually moves in a really beautiful way you have this lovely ribbon that cinches in at the waist as well and you have this v-neck cut as well I thought this was so pretty, perfect for date night, just a really elegant dress. I like the fact that you do have the lace detail all the way throughout, but again, because it's black on black, it's not too much, or at least it doesn't feel that way to me. It is uh, fully lined, which is just as well being lace, otherwise you'd be able to see everything. But I am so happy with this. So if you can track it down, another winner for me. I just think this one's gorgeous. And from very successful to not quite so successful, so these are the straight leg jeans that I got and I actually do like them but they are really really small and I sized up in these because I was hoping to wear them now for a couple of months and then right after I give birth. Um, but not only can I not button these up, but I can't even zip them up, like it's not even close. Um, so. <laughs> I'm gonna try and do some kind of mod shots so you can see how the leg fits at least, um, but honestly, I'm not sure I have a top long enough and you can definitely see my underwear because I can't zip these up at all. So I would definitely say if you're considering these to size up, um, so I'm usually a 26 to 27 in jeans. I went to a 28, but I think that these would have been an okay fit, maybe a bit snug um, before I got pregnant. Now there's just absolutely no way at all, um, so. Yeah, I think if I actually wanted them to fit, I would have had to go on like 30 plus um, for these jeans. So hopefully one that I will be able to revisit next year. Um, but yeah, definitely uh, not successful in terms of what I wanted them for this year. Next up are the PJs that I got. So I got both pair of my PJs. I would say that I think the sizing varies a little bit between the long ones and the short ones. So I usually get an extra small in these. I got these in the size small um, this year because I wanted room to grow. To be honest, I don't feel like there's that much room to grow um, for me in these. So maybe I should have sized up one more. They don't fit badly or anything. They are still quite loose, um, but I think I'm probably gonna need more room, um, but that was probably my fault. So. I don't feel like they fit drastically kind of out of sync or anything, um, but 
if you're in between sizes, I would probably say to size up in these, but they are gorgeous. I mean, I own several pairs of these pajamas. If you're not familiar with them, they are just so incredibly slinky and soft, and they're just a dream to sleep in, especially because, you know, they do keep you warm, but at the same time, because the fabric is quite cool to the touch, they don't overheat you when you're sleeping, which is always a really big thing for me. So I love these, really, really happy with the pattern. Um, so these are the long ones that I got. And then these are the short ones. Um, I got these in the same size, but I definitely feel like these fit a little bit larger. I do think I have room to grow with these ones. So keep that in mind um, if you're interested in them. The long ones, I'd say fit true to size and maybe size up if you're in between sizes, whereas I do feel like the short ones fit a little bit larger size, but still really happy with them. Very soft and lovely. I really like the patterns I got um, and yeah, just, the pajamas from Nordstrom never disappoint. They're just absolutely gorgeous. Next up, I did get two baby items, which I just had to share because they're way too cute. So the first one is this baby bunting. And to be honest, I'd never heard the term baby bunting before because to me, this is just a onesie, but maybe I'm just not used to baby terminology yet. Um, but this is adorable, very, very thick and kind of properly for winter like some of the things I get are on the thinner side whereas this it feels very substantial you have this lovely kind of fleece hoodie and it's just absolutely gorgeous so I thought this was adorable and then I also got this baby blanket as well I'm not actually undone um, the ribbon yet but I'll do that now and it is so so soft so it's this beautiful polka dot pattern so you have this gray on white and then you have this kind of ribbon satin trim it's so lovely. I'm not huge, but I mean, it's a baby blanket, so it's not supposed to be huge. Really, really thrilled with this. Oh, I just wanna keep this to myself. Like, it's so snuggly, um, but yeah, really, really happy with these two. I thought they were so cute. And last but not least for my haul, I have this gorgeous sweater. So this is an off the shoulder one. I think this one comes in black as well, but this is so snuggly and soft. I'm really, really happy with it. It is a rib knit one, um, but it's a very different kind of rib knit to the Good American dress. It's much more kind of, um, loose and it's not kind of overly floppy or anything it's just a lot looser and I guess more stretchy as well it is incredibly soft as well so very very cozy indeed I think you can probably position the shoulders as you want um, but I think I'm just gonna wear it as the off-the-shoulder design but I thought this was lovely I really like the color as well like a really pretty pink and just a really really soft snuggly one now I'm going to be going through some of the items which I already own and love that are still well stocked in the end sale. So if you watch my guide videos from a week ago, I'm not featuring anything new. So if you wanted really in-depth guides, then I would definitely say to go to those videos. I'm just gonna be running through these items quickly, but this is more of a quick fire guide if you were shopping the sales day and wanted a list of what's still in stock that I do think is worth purchasing. So to my surprise, the Barefoot Dreams cardigans are still very, very well stocked, including my favorite one which is the long drapey one. Usually these ones, especially this style, sell out really quickly. So I'm not sure if they did a restock. I should have probably checked that yesterday, um, but currently well stocked in quite a few colors. This is just the nicest cardigan. I absolutely love it. It's a bit more streamlined than some of the other styles, which do tend to be a little bit chunkier, but because of that, I think it's a little bit more wearable and I just think it's really elegant. Like I love this. I wear it with everything from jeans to pajamas at home. Like it's a really kind of go anywhere, do anything sweater. And it's also incredibly, incredibly soft as well. So huge fan of this one, would absolutely recommend it. Also makes for a great gift and I just love mine to bits. They do also still have the shawl cardigans in stock as well. So this is kind of the original Barefoot Dreams cardigan, still insanely popular and they have lots of size left, including the small sizes because I do think that this one runs large in a few different color options. It's a really, really solid one. I'm very cozy. I bought this for my mum, my mother-in-law, Everyone loves it. It just, you just can't go wrong with it. Like for a gift for yourself, incredibly snuggly, incredibly warm and just the loveliest fabric. And of course the Barefoot Dreams blankets. These are still surprisingly well stocked in all the popular colorways as well. So they do a lot of different colors and often the kind of funkier colors are left, but even the really classic and the most neutral colorways are still very well stocked. So definitely a good one if you be holding out for these. They are just 
the best blankets in the world. I have so many of them and I will just never tire of them. My earrings are still in stock as well. So this is the double set. So this features the smaller pair as well as the larger pair. The larger pair are the ones that I am going to show in the kind of try on clips. And these are the equivalent of a two carat weight, I believe. So one carat in each ear, just really, really beautiful. I've raved about these earrings before because I just think they're fantastic. But if you want a really affordable pair of earrings that look unbelievably real, I would definitely check these out. I swear by them and they are the whole reason why I'm no longer saving for a diamond pair of studs because I don't feel the need like these are that good so absolutely love these I've worn them for years and they just do extremely well um, next up, I wanted to share my two favorite bras, which again, I'm pretty sure that these are still in stock. So I was actually thinking about maybe stocking up on these because I do think I'm at the point where I probably need to go up a size now. But the first one is the True & Co bra. The absolutely glowing reviews are glowing for a reason. This one really does live up to the hype. It is incredibly soft for a start, but it also just wears very well. It disappears into your skin, so you cannot see this under clothing. It is completely seamless and it's pretty much as light as air. Like you will not notice you have this on. It makes it extremely difficult to go back to regular bras afterwards. I just can't say enough good things. This is all my mum wears now as well because she's like, nope, not doing normal bras again. Like this is the only one that she wears and it's just fantastic. So they do have quite a few colors still left in stock. I would recommend this one all day long. And the other one is the Notori Feathers Bra and the other one I'm actually wearing here today. So I can't show you that one, but I will do a try on clip. And the one in the try on clip is the exact one included in the sale. It is a fantastic. It is very comfortable for an underwire style. And I love the fact that it does have a quite a bit of lace detail as well. And for me, it's just the perfect combination of form and function. You know, there's enough design that it still looks fancy and nice and special. But at the same time, it's incredibly practical. It goes under pretty much anything. Like you can't see it. I'm wearing a white top here today. You can't see it under that. And I just think these are fantastic. Another one that has amazing reviews and well-deserved. I just love these to bits. And now for a sweater. So this one is from Sweaty Betty and this isn't a fancy one by any means. So it's more of a casual one suitable for kind of lounging at home. If you wanted a cover up for when you leave a class or a gym, this is absolutely perfect. It has a kind of waffle knit design. Um, so it is quite textured, but I find this very, very comfortable to wear. You do have the drawstring effect right there on the front and it's a little bit longer on the back than the front, but not too much. You have the pocket design on the front there. And it does have a funnel neck element, so it kind of stands up, but you can also mold this a little bit to how you want. I think my exact color is included in the sale, and this is just a really nice solid one. I don't have too many pieces from Sweaty Betty, but the items that I do have, I really enjoy, and this is just a really, really nice solid option. And now for a top favorite. So I actually ordered the one that's included in the end sale. Unfortunately, it's in one of the packages that UPS have lost, hopefully temporarily. Um, but it's this same top, which is this lovely kind of smock design blouse. If you've watched any of my videos over the past six months, you will have seen me wear this because I wear it a lot. But it's just the perfect blouse and it is great for Zoom calls because it is fantastically comfortable but it also looks quite smart as well. You have this pleated detail on the front there as well as this button detail halfway down. The sleeves are cuffed um, but the main part of the sleeve is actually semi-sheer so it's really pretty and billowy and it's just gorgeous. Um, so I ordered the plum one. Hopefully it will arrive soon in which case I will show it um, but would definitely recommend this liner tops. I love them. Next up is a sweater from Vince. So this is a kind of partial funnel neck sweater. It is like a fold down one, but again, you kind of can position it to how you want it. It's not overly tight or suffocating. I don't like the really tight roll necks. I always feel like just a little bit claustrophobic, whereas this has enough breathing room and it's very, very comfortable. It is, I'd say a little bit on the longer side. It's not hugely oversized or anything, but it's definitely not a cropped one by any means. And then it's, a kind of mid-weight material I'd say um, and then it's again a medium kind of width so not super narrow and fitted not really chunky and oversized just a nice classic kind of in-between style so the one I have is actually 100% cashmere but the one included in the end sale is a wool blend I believe um, so it's quite a bit cheaper than the cashmere one 
as you would hope and expect. So I can't speak to how soft that one is, um, but the one I have is obviously very soft being cashmere, but the fit is lovely and it does look to be exactly the same um, fit and cut. So based off of that, I would recommend it. I love my sweater to bits. And again, it's just a nice kind of classic one that you can rely on year after year. It's not overly trendy, it's cut in a really nice way. And I always find the quality from Vince absolutely fantastic. And this sweater definitely doesn't disappoint. And next up, my absolutely trusty Spanx faux leather leggings. If you haven't tried these yet and you've been wanting some faux leather leggings, I would definitely recommend these. I think they are just so great. I have had mine for, gosh, maybe like four or five years now. I can't imagine kind of life without them. As I mentioned in my first guide video, this is one of the first maternity purchases I made because I was like, I can't imagine getting dressed without these. So these are the normal versions, um, but I definitely did purchase the maternity ones when I can't fit into these anymore. I just can't get enough, like they go so well under so many different things, are so useful when getting dressed, especially in the colder months and I just don't think you can go wrong for the price. They last and they last, not overly expensive for the quality that you're getting and I just absolutely adore them. Next up are my Kurt Geiger heels. I've spoken about these a few times before, but I just absolutely love them. Very similar to the Jimmy Choo Bing heels. And whilst these aren't cheap by any means, they are a lot more affordable than those. So my ones are in the plain leather and the ones included in the end sale are the mock croc. So there is the black, there's a green and also a nude, all available in the textured mock croc. They are so unbelievably pretty, very, very comfortable as well. You have this beautiful crystal detail on the strap there and they're just gorgeous. Like the detail on them is really incredible. They feel very well made as well. And these are just such attention grabbing shoes. Whenever I wear these out, I will always, always have someone ask me where they're from. They're just the most beautiful shoes. And last but not least, an all time favorite of mine, but my CC mixed media top. I can rave about these all day long. They're just the loveliest and comfiest tops ever. And the mixed media is due to the mixed materials used. So on the sleeve, you have this beautiful sheer design. And then in the body, it's this kind of stretched jersey fabric, which flows rather than clings. So it pretty much feels like you're wearing pajamas, but it looks a lot smarter than that. And I think smart enough to wear to work. Perfect on Zoom calls as well. And I just love them because I always want to be as comfortable as if I'm wearing pajamas. And if you can do that whilst wearing something that looks a lot smarter, even better. So I adore these, would recommend them to anyone. And I do believe that these are still pretty well stocked. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. As usual, I will include links to everything I featured in the description section below. I'll also pop in all my size details for reference. If you have any other questions for me, then leave me a comment. And please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy NCEL videos. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys. I don't know how or how you do it. You blow my mind without a word.